Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the audio guys from Kodak Securities. I am your host and guide, Anindya Banerjee. There has been a dramatic shift in the market focus over the past one month. Ek mahina pehle it was all about the Ukraine war and oil prices. Now it's Fed. U.S. inflation, U.S. growth, uska impact on the bond deals because all of this has a major calling on the U.S. Fed. The market is now penciling in. Two fifty basis point uh, rate hikes in the upcoming two meetings. That's quite aggressive. And uh, this week there's going to be the U.S. CPI report, which is going to come out, and it's expected to be quite high. And second, the f- uh, important thing will be the U.S. retail sales. So these two together are very important reports because U.S. economy has been quite strong and resilient, and that has given. a uh, kind of a clarity to the fed that the fed can go ahead and do aggressive tightening and pricing that in is the us bond market us bond market agar hum log yields pe dhyan de the us yields are trading at the highest level since december 2018 and because of which the dollar is strengthening against major currencies globally but surprisingly uska koi impact dollar rupee pe aa nahi raha indian rupee is quite exceptionally stable because of number of factors ek to rbi ka aggressive intervention that is they are selling dollars quite aggressively second agar hum log consider kare the carry trade the carry traders are still depositing their faith on the indian rupee and with the rbi now focusing on positive real rates it will give a lot more clarity to the carry traders third the non fpi flows have been consistently robust or the non fpi inflows so because of all these reasons indian rupee has been stable against the dollar and quite strong against a broad basket of currencies now it is a slightly na- negative thing for the external sector but a strong rupee is very important for managing inflation and that's where the rbi's focus is so basically what has happened is over the past few days that every time the especially uh, say yesterday jab bhi dollar rupee has attempted to break out above 76 levels and go higher it came under heavy selling pressure and now coming to trading the choppiness of the market makes it uh, difficult for momentum traders to play so it is advisable that you don't chase breakouts in dollar rupee because that is not working out There are two ways to uh, play this market. One is you wait for a dip because jab tak 75, 70 spot or 75, 80 on the uh, April futures ke upar market hai, tab tak the bias is slightly upward. So you can keep on uh, focusing on uh, buying the dip on the futures with a stop loss below 75, 80 uh, on a hourly or or a two uh, two hourly closing basis. Se- uh, second thing is you can focus on selling options like straddles or strangles because choppiness of the market benefits option sellers and we have been consistently selling options and that has worked out fantastically well over the past few weeks so selling options like straddles and strangles can be done our cross currency may yen rnr continues to be a sell on rise because the rising us bond deals is a big negative for yen and stable usd rnr is also not helping the yen rnr at all so yen rnr is a, is a sell on rise so that will be our first choice of currency to go short uske alawa euro rnr and gbp rnr both are weak and especially for uh, gbp rnr aaj the uk employment uh, report will be out so that will be uh, something to watch out for so that's it folks this is anand banerjee signing off a fantastic day ahead